Hey guys, how are you doing? The CEO arrested in uh, a French airport, I think in Paris, because um, he had a, an arrest warrant on his, and I don't think he knew about it. And um, nobody really knows the reason why, but uh, people are suspecting that it's because uh, France has been on his tail, and um, they said that there is uh, no not enough moderators admin on telegram and hence people have used telegram to perform illegal activities because the ceo did not um, employ enough admin and moderators so illegal activities such as um, money laundering so and um, there are still more information about this. Please, I'm going to give it to you. Make sure you follow me. If you've not um, uh, followed or subscribed, click the red subscribe button below to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that uh, when I bring more information on this, you will get it. So, um, he has two citizenships, one in Azerbaijan and uh, one in uh, France. So, he was on his private jet from Azerbaijan to France, the moment the, the plane landed, they arrested him. And you need to know that he's based in Dubai, and that's where Telegram is based. So if he was in Dubai, he would not have been arrested. But I felt, I feel that he felt comfortable in France because he had a French citizenship. Uh, unfortunately, they just arrested him. There is more information about him too, and uh, one of them is that um, he has fathered over 100 children. He has basically populated the world. He was a uh, an avid sperm donor and he has uh, donated to so many women that he has over a hundred uh, children. And he has not married. He's single and he doesn't intend to marry. He said he has no properties, no houses, no real estate, no boat or yacht or anything. So I guess um, the private jet was just a necessity so he can quickly move in and out of countries. And if you know his history, you will know why. His history was because um, he grew up in Russia with his younger brother and they founded a Russian social network. But the Kremlin, according to the story, uh, that is the Russian leadership, came and met him and told him to give them a back door so that they can spy on the citizens using that. And he said no. He's a very strong proponent of free speech. So the day they took police to come arrest him at the company, they discovered that the entire company is empty, all the staff. He left the country with all his staff. And um, they drew a very big male uh, genitalia on the board there, a graffiti for the um, Kremlin, all right? So I think when it came to the French issue, he was having the same issue. Maybe France was trying to force him to moderate the platform more. And is a very he is a very strong proponent of free speech. So as the story develops, it just happened about one or two hours ago. As it, as it develops, I'll be the first to bring you the updates. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Click the share button so that when next I, I make an update, the algorithm will show you. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, is it right for France to arrest him and force him to change the way Telegram upgrade, operates? Or do you think that he should find a reason to escape France again? and keep running from governments.